name is William, and I recreate shots from movies on YouTube. With Dune Part 2 about to release, Artlist challenged me to recreate a shot from it using their Inspired by Dune collection of music and sound effects. So let's get started. Our first step was finding a location. I live in Michigan, and we get some beautiful sand dunes out here, perfect for the deserts of Arrakis. We originally wanted to make this shot, and there's a perfect dune spot here by the lake. We planned our entire shoot. Everything was ready to go and all sights set on these dunes. But after doing a little bit of research, there was just one problem. It's a state park. It'd be illegal to shoot there without a permit. This all happening an hour before we were going to leave and begin shooting. So we made some calls and finally found someone with private beachfront property we could use about an hour north from us. With this new location, we had to pivot to a new shot to recreate from Dune. Fortunately, all of our prep won't be in vain. The shot looks a bit different, but a lot of the elements are still the same. More on that in a minute. We packed up and set out about an hour behind schedule. Let's break down our new shot. The camera is low to the ground, with these rocks on the bottom of the frame. So we need black rocks. The focus is set to these rocks, with the character out of focus in the background. Their cape or cloak is flapping in the wind. This means we need enough wind, or we need to get fake wind. Lastly, we're getting this heat distortion blowing across the frame. So we need to somehow make that too. We started with the camera, set down on a pallet to keep the sand out of it. The original shot is using a longer lens. It's hard to explain how I know this, but we can see easier with motion. Notice how as the character walks away or towards the camera, they don't really grow or shrink in size. On a shorter lens, the change would be more obvious. So we swapped to a 90 millimeter lens, and our first issue became pretty obvious. Our camera needs to be pointing up. We need to dig a hole, stick the camera inside, and get it a little below ground level. Oh no, it's like frozen. We haven't even started the shot, and we're already halfway through our day. I sent someone to go get us a shovel. In the meantime, we were looking at putting in our jagged rocks, which we got with charcoal. We didn't realize it would come in these rounded shapes, so once the group returned with the shovel, we smashed them up. Then we dug our hole and put the camera inside. With just a few adjustments, we finally have our framing. All the music you've heard so far in this video is from Artlist, and specifically their Dune-inspired music collection. They also have one for sound effects, which comes in handy for footage like this. It's windy at the beach, and as the day went on, it only became worse. This works in favor for the costume, but also makes everything more difficult. It might not look like it, but it's actually like below freezing right now, like quite a bit below freezing. Along with the setting sun, we needed to pick up the pace. I got into the cloak for the costume my friend and her family made from scratch. I felt really cool. Next, we need these heat waves. I heard about using these propane canisters for heating food from Scott Reeder, that prop guy on TikTok, and in our tests, this worked well. But when we tried them on set, we barely saw a thing, mostly just smoke. The wind was snuffing them out, and there was nothing we could do. We had to move on. Despite the wind making things difficult, it would make my flapping cloak a little bit easier. Even still, not enough on its own. So we rented a powerful fan for the shot. We had to hook it up to a generator and have two people carry it next to me while I walked away from the camera dramatically. We got take after take before the sun went down. Yeah, we, this is pretty much our last take. We made sure to get a clean plate and I composited out the fan in post. And after all that, this is our shot from Dune Part 2. <laughs> All the assets I used to recreate this shot can be found on artlist.io. Make sure to go check out their Inspired by Dune collections, link in the description.